One of the most popular things people like to do when they first start is a garden pot. But one of the interesting things about a garden pot is it's not always as easy as you might think when you first start because for starters, it's three dimensional, which means you've got to think about your glue and all sorts of things running and how do you manage something that isn't flat. So we're going to do this, let's make a pot together. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I've chosen this lovely big terracotta pot which looks amazingly huge on the video it's about it's ten and a half inches wide or probably 26 and a half centimeters wide so quite quite a nice size um, I've got a few other garden pots but they're smaller than this and they're really too small and about oh, nine and a half inches high 25 just below 25 centimeters so it's a good size for a good plant so what's the first thing you do when you get the pot? Well, before you even get the pot, is to think about what it is you're going to do with your pot and what you're going to plant in it. There are people who seal pots, people who don't. Um, there's a million views about what you should and shouldn't do when it comes to a pot. I'm just going to show you what I like to do and then you can just do whatever takes your fancy. So the thing to think about is this top edge. Do we want to do anything with that top edge? or are we just going to paint it? There's this band here. Is this going to be painted? Because this one has a lip. Some just have smooth sides, so you might choose just to have a smooth side one. So this one, we need to think about how does this fit with our design? And then it goes in underneath. How do we deal with something like this that's underneath here? Or are we just going to put a beautiful pattern around here? Like for instance, for this pot, I'm going to do black flowers and probably um, black flowers with red going up to yellow tiles on the top here. So uh, I've got some lovely tiles from Cy Mosaics, um, which I'm going to use as the background. And of course, my favourite big bows are going to be, and I think it will be all black flowers all the way around at this point in time. And then the next question is, I've got my pot. I've got a rough idea what I want to do. I want some flowers and I want to paint this or I want to tile this or whatever it is that you want to do with your pot. The other consideration is that not only is it three dimensional, it goes from thin to wider, which means that's going to have an impact on some of the tiles you might choose. If you're choosing larger ones, it's going to have an influence on your tiles. So think about that as we start this journey about making pots. The next question is, do I need to seal it? It looks like it's already been sealed, but how do you tell? A little bowl of water, a few little bit of fingers in there with some drops, then drop it on, on your pot. And you can see it doesn't bead, it soaks straight in. So then you need to decide whether you want to seal the pot or not. There's a many schools of thought about whether you should or shouldn't. I'm going to because with some terracotta pots, the salts from within the pot leach through the grout and will cause unsightly uh, discoloration of your grout. So I'm definitely going to seal the outside. Also in Canberra, it will help to retain some of the water inside the pot because pots can die from the heat in a day. <clears throat> the other thing I'm going to do just to add that extra bit of um, oomph to it is I'm actually going to seal the inside as well. So that will make sure my pot and my plant will remain happy. Then what's the sealer? You just go to your hardware store, your local hardware store, into the garden or your gardening center, um, into the gardening area potentially or anywhere where they sell things like sealers so this one here is purpose-built ornamental sealer and it's fantastic once you use this i don't think you'll be able to use a water-based paint over the top so you may need to think about an oil-based paint but test out your paints first um, yeah, to make sure you get the right sealer. I particularly like this one. It is a spray 
The disadvantage with the spray is that you'll lose a lot in the, lots in the air um, and you will need to wear a mask if you're spraying it. So I decant it from this spray bottle into a little thing like this or, or a little tray if I'm doing lots and I use a roller or a paintbrush to, to put the sealer on and I always do two coats and wait at least 24 hours before I get into it. Okay, so now you've got some homework to do before we get into the next session, um, which will be uh, about how we're going to do the, this top bit here. And I'll come up with a couple of very simple ideas. Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated, but it can finish off your pot beautifully.